Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. We are looking at a Mercedes E-Class here. So on start up there, I've got the bonnet open at the minute. We've got the engine management light on down there. I think this car is a hybrid. So we're just running the diagnostic scan here on the vehicle. So let's just pause that and go back up here. Where are we? We've got our right, fault in the parking system, engine combustion. Back up. Engine combustion is where we want to look. So just loading into it. Mercedes do take a little while to load. Ooh, 10 minutes later, we're nearly there. Okay, we can see there we have some codes for the differential pressure sensor, E245414 and these others. Short circuit to the ground or an open circuit. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do now is remove the engine cover, remove the air box and get down to the differential pressure sensor just down there. So I'll start by taking off the engine cover. Four E10 screws. That's the light gate on the DPF. So we've got the four screws out. We can lift up the ECU. Seven millimeter on the clip here. Pull it off. Now we've got some bolts on the bracket here. Same again, E tens one, two, three there. Now the screws are off, we can pull forward and reach the sensor down here. So now we need to get down on the pressure sensor and open these clips here. Now I'm going to use a multimeter to check this power at the sensor over here. Just get that somewhere there where I can hold it. And you can see there we've got 5 volts on it. So what's happening there is we're only allowed to rev the vehicle up to just under 3000 RPM I think because of the everything's disconnected. Uh, so anyway we've got a new Febby um, pressure sensor here we're going to put this on and then we'll read it on the live data as well and we're back inside we'll start the car up give it some revs again 156 332 millibars so we're going to use five liters of the winds dpf cleaner and put it into our dispenser bottle here now we're just going to connect it up to this one on the right hand side this is the one that goes after the dpf and this slimmer one is before so we've got that connected up there, we can just pump in the fluid. Just give it a flush out while we're here. So while that's flowing in there, just have a little look over here. You can see it's a little bit different than your standard. It's got all of these orange cables here for the hybrid system. Big hybrid motor there, it looks like. And, uh, as if these cars weren't complicated enough without adding more, more of this stuff to it. We're just about done. So now we've just put that new sensor in there, plugged it back in there, just down the back, and now we've just put that bracket back in place there where it was. So that's all of the parts there put back together. So now we've got this, this is the new sensor on here. So it'll start dropping quickly.
Let's just let go of the revs for a minute. See where we're idling at now. 0 0.03, that was on, I think, 11. Give it a full acceleration again. Now we are actually getting full accelerations now as well. We were only getting 3,000 before. So we're getting full acceleration now that the, the um, engine light has been distinguished. So I like to have that under under five. Usually I always get it under five. So there we're on three there. On the differential pressure there is what we're looking at. Two to three. So now I'm gonna do a teaching of the particle filter. And this is just to reset those um soot numbers and uh, fill level of the DPF just because that will be calculated higher than it thinks it is. Okay, sorry, it will think it's higher than it actually is because obviously we've cleaned it out. Uh, so we're going to just reset all of this. That's it, that's what that's done. Now we can see if we can find the uh, differential pressure center now as well. Hopefully it's on here. Can't remember what these, oh yeah, so we gotta do the, it's Mercedes in it. So we'll have to do the hot film. So this sort of just resets everything at once. So differential pressure, uh, oxygen sensor, blah, 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 all of this. Okay, so we need engine stationary and ignition on. There's some of the uh, crap that it kicks out. Just a bit of a bit of that foam there. You get out of the exhaust. So after a quick test drive there, everything's all good. A little bit surprising on this. Uh, it's been a hybrid. Um, hybrid system doesn't actually work very well at all, in my opinion. It just if you use any more than five percent of the accelerator, the engine just comes back on. Um, straight away and 44.4 miles per gallon I mean I can get around about double that from my stand standard C220 uh, but yeah anyways the um, faults are all cleared the car's fixed uh, it's a bit of a weird one uh, the engine on this when you start it there you go but yeah the engine switches off it's a bit confusing whether or not the engine's on or not <laughs> So we just put some fuel in it before we finished up. So I say we're all finished here on this Mercedes and we'll see you in the next video.